because when you put yourself in that situation, when you have to make that kind of weight shift, you really finally may get your insulin levels under control, but you may be type two diabetic the rest of your life. And when you're type two diabetic the rest of your life, it makes getting catecholamines harder, it makes harvesting testosterone, growth hormone, and insulin-like growth factor even harder. Manage insulin, manage insulin. I swear during the course of your training time, there's gonna be more information about insulin than ever before. Remember you heard it here first. <coughs> I'm sort of throwing out the hot insulin bomb early because people don't give insulin the credit that it should have as far as managing anabolic. We've always known that insulin is an anabolic hormone, but we really didn't realize its profound effect until we started seeing people being morbidly obese, having super high levels of cortisol and super high levels of estrogen. Estrogen loves cortisol. Cortisol loves estrogen. Estrogen loves body fat. The diet that we're consuming that's loaded with crappy soy is fueling that estrogen, not helping you manage your insulin. You may have to listen to what I just said a couple times for all that to sink in. Manage your insulin, you manage your body fat better, which means you're managing to stay anabolic better, which means you're managing estrogen better. And that's females and males alike. Females and males alike. Managing your estrogen, staying anabolic as much as possible, keeping yourself from going catabolic, using your catecholamine to allow you to go beyond your lactate threshold. lactate threshold. Because when you're going beyond your lactate threshold, what's happening to your performance? It gets better. It gets better and gets better and gets better. But do we do this aggressively or progressively? Progressively. Progressive overload. Constantly stimulating and re-stimulating so that we stay stronger longer. What do we want to do? We want to stay stronger. Longer. We want to stay stronger. Longer. We want to stay stronger. Longer. Longer. Get as strong as you can today and then stay strong. The more muscle mass you build, the easier it becomes to manage insulin, the easier it becomes to manage body fat, the easier it becomes to manage estrogen. If you've got some house cleaning you need to do in your endocrine system, start changing it. Okay, yes, we all have different genetic predispositions, but when you know them by having a chem panel run, and when you start to address them and look at them head on and develop a plan, then you can actually see the things that were going on and that can go on. When you can figure insulin out and you can figure your body out with some other tweaks it may have, then you can start to manage all of these things a lot better. You gotta know your numbers. You gotta know your numbers so that you can figure out what it takes for you to be your best. In addition to Food. What are the other two? There's two main ways to manage insulin. Controlling what you eat and controlling how you move. move. If we can get people eating better and moving more, we can crush the type 2 diabetes epidemic. You guys, type 2 diabetes is going to bankrupt our healthcare system. It is, which means what's sad for you is insurance is gonna get so expensive when you're 47, good luck. It's already expensive. It's already expensive. So imagine what it's gonna be 15, 20 years from now 
whenever everyone is not taking care of their health. I'm seeing you nod your head up and down. Okay? Yes, Jacob's going to PA school. He's going to be saving the world one, in one pancreas at a time, right? I mean, when you stop and think about it, if we can save one pancreas at a time, you guys, type 2 diabetes is going to bankrupt our healthcare system. We have to make a difference. We have to make a difference. And so little things that you can do, I'm not asking you to ever, never, ever eat a chip again. Just eat fewer. I'm not asking you to never, ever, ever eat bread again. Just eat less. I'm not asking you to never eat candy again. Holy cow, next week is Halloween and you'd think I was a witch. (laughs) 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 Eat eat less. Eat, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking you, if, you're, if you enjoy alcohol safely, responsibly, I'm not asking you to ever, not ever do that again. I'm just saying do it less. I'm not asking you to never eat birthday cake again. Just eat less, okay? Eat less of the stuff that causes stress on your pancreas. And you can stay anabolic, chronic, anabolic, chronically anabolic, chronically anabolic, that's what we want. Wouldn't that be terrible if we lived in a world where everybody was chronically anabolic and there was no type 2 diabetes? Guess what? That's the way it was with my grandparents and your great-grandparents. Do y'all ever think about what the word disease means? What does the word disease mean? Where did it come from? Disease. German. <laughs> Break it up. Our bodies were supposed to live in ease. It's dying. They really, they really were supposed to live in ease. We have gotten to a point where we are in dis-ease because of the choices that we have made to not use this nature's chemistry set for us to be at ease. So think about doing things that help put your body at ease. Your body wants to be anabolic, but we're doing things that are creating disease or disease that we're having to tackle full speed. Good news for you, Lots of job security out there. Yeah. Okay? So here's what the plan is. As you're getting older, you have all of these people in front of you that you're going to help fix. Okay? And as you fix that, we're not going to have this problem behind us anymore. So good news for you. You're going to have young, healthy, strong people to take care of you when you're in the nursing home. Okay? They're going to be working on different careers because we're going to change some things and we're going to fix some things. You guys, one bite at a time, one squat at a time, it can change things. Friends, I'm seeing you in this room and I'm seeing kinesiology majors whose weight is out of control and who not, cannot sit in a full squat. And that scares me to death. If we are the people that are supposed to be teaching, leading, and learning this, guys, it starts with changing yourself. It starts with changing yourself. If you're not managing your pancreas and if you're not moving daily, start today, please. Start today, please. Yes, you should be able, I know that many of us, I mean, played college sports, did all this fun stuff. You guys, you should be able to move your knees past a 90 degree angle with, uh, without pain. You should be able to plop it down in a full squat, butt to the ground, without your knees hurting. And I'm seeing a lot of things. Hey, what did I send y'all last night about the squat? Oh, wow. Is there one right way to do a squat? No, it's dependent on everyone. But you know what? The body is biomechanically designed. Think about it civilization wise okay um if you've ever been on a trip overseas 
Um, there's lots of places on the planet that don't have potties. I don't know if you ever thought about that. True. But there are places that there are squatting over holes. So maybe you want to plan to be a world traveler and learn how to squat so that you can take care of business in other countries <laughs> if you have the opportunity to go and do that. Pretty okay. efficient. McKay's going to talk openly and honest with you because I love y'all so much. And I just want you all to be game changers in this world. And you have the potential to do it. I believe in you. I love you. And I will see you chapter two next week. God bless you. I'll see you soon.